So welcome back Alien, this is Nobin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about how to work with SQLite. In fact we have seen the theory right, what is SQLite and how to store data into database. So we'll try to implement that in this video. So uh, again if you have not watched the theory video of this, make sure you watch that video first and then come back to this video. Okay. So uh, what we do, what we'll do is we'll try to insert some data into database in this video. So to do that, first we need to do some stuff. Uh, okay, let me just start with this. Okay. So the first thing we require is a method called as get writable database. Okay. This is the method we have to use to save data into database. Okay. Again, we have different methods. We can use get. Uh, readable so when you use get readable it means to you want to fetch data from database right but the problem is to work with this object this method here uh, the first step would be to create a class and you need to extend that class with so we have we, are, we have already created a class called as cl uh, public class student db helper again you can take any class name that doesn't matter so this is the activity the main activity we have and this is the uh, helper class we have okay and this class need to extend with sqlite open helper where is that which is sqlite open helper so we need to make sure that you are over you are extending this class here okay now once we go to this class you can see this class is an abstract class and it has some some abstract methods right and it also have a constructor in which you have to pass you can see we have to pass these four things first you have to pass the context then you have to pass the name of the database. Uh, then you can pass the factory object. We'll set it null. Uh, okay, we can set it null. And then we can be required to pass our database version. Okay. So to work with this class, you have to first override two methods. Uh, we'll see what are those methods. If I just click here, where's that error? And if you can see implement methods, automatically it will give you those two methods. One is on create and second is on upgrade. Simple. Uh, we need to do we need to override one more method which, which is actually a constructor so we need to call this constructor here because that's the only constructor it, you have so what you can do is from your constructor so let me get a constructor here we'll say public um, what uh, why to create constructor here when you can just ask uh, generate give me a constructor with only context not available okay we can take a constructor here and you have all these values so take this take all these values and just return all, all those values in fact we don't have to use all this stuff here we can remove those stuffs and here itself we can pass the database name so i want to specify the database i will say database name is std db so that's my database name the next we the, the next thing we require is the uh, we don't have a factory so we'll keep it null and then we have to specify the version number which is for me it is one okay this is my first database so I will keep it one now once you have specified the const constructor now what next in the create on create method we have to create a table right now how do you create a table so you can see we have we already have a DB here so this DB is referring to this database here so once you create the object of this class it will create a database called as std db and you can work with that database with the help of this db pointer and db, db, db reference. So I can say db dot, uh, since we want to execute the query, we can say execute SQL, which is ex uh, SQL. And in bracket, you can mention the query. Now, what type of table we want? We want a very simple table, right? We want a table with, so we can just write the query here itself. We can say, I want a table. So I will say create table stood or we'll say student uh, in which you will be having three things one will be SID uh, which will be of type we can take text doesn't matter uh, because we, we are not checking anything and then we can take S name which is also text and we'll take what marks which is also text so we got our table uh, we got our table here right so that's it's that simple just have to create a table right and then in the upgrade thing we can say on upgrade what we can do is we can delete the old table right and we can create new one how to delete old table we can say db.exesql and then we can mention a query using which you can drop the table so in double quotes you can mention drop uh, table 
if exists because if, if it doesn't exist, I don't want the error. So we'll say if exists. What is the spelling for exist? Uh, the table name is student, of course, right? So this is the query you have to write. And once you drop it, we have to create a new table now. I will will call this this table, or we'll call this method which is on create. So we'll say on create and pass db. So when you say on upgrade, it will delete the old table and it will create a new table. It's that simple. So once you got this class, okay, that's the that's the code you have to write in this class to work with database. Now come back to this class here. So since we have a class which is student db helper, so let's create that object. So we'll say student db helper. Uh, let me name this object as db itself. Okay, we can have uh, we can say this is db helper. Okay, and we can say this new student db helper in which you can pass this. Now what exactly this is? This is the current context. As you can see, in this we are we need to pass the context, right? So I'm passing this. That means a current context, right? And in this we can, okay. Once you got the, the uh, student DB helper object to work with database, we have to create object of SQLite database. Where is that? Which is SQLite database, okay? And let's create DB because that's how you can work with database, right? Now, how do you create the DB object? There, where we require this method, which is get writable DB. So we can say DB helper dot get writable database. So if you want to insert data, get writable database, or if you want to read data, you use get readable database. Now, once you got a database, we want to insert some values, right? So you can see we have how many how many columns we have. We have three columns. We have SID, we have S name, and we have marks, right? To work with this. We need to provide those values. Now, how do you provide those values before inserting value? So, for that, we need to use something called as content values. And the content values is something using which you can actually insert a whole row. So, we can say content values values equal to new content values. Okay, we can create a key value pair here. So, we can specify the column name, which is this one. We can specify the column name, and we can specify the value. Okay, so we'll say values dot put because it is it is implementing hash map so that's why we have method called put and we have SID let's say the value is one okay uh, values dot put we can say this is s name and we'll say this is Naveen and we can say values dot put which is this one and we'll say this is marks comma we can specify the marks in fact everything is string we can enclose this one into in a string format and we'll say how much marks we need to specify let's say this 50 okay now once you specify all this value this is what we will be sending into database right now let's simply say db dot insert that's how you insert a value so you can pass the first step will be the table name and the table name is student that's easy the next one is the null column hack. We'll say null. I don't know what's that. And the last one is the actual values. Okay. So in, in db dot insert, we have to pass a table name. We have to pass the uh, we can pass null, and then we have to pass values. Okay. Now this this db insert will return you something. So we'll say raw long, and we'll save it in row. So what exactly this means is uh, this row will get the the last row the last row id because let's say in your database you have five values and if you're entering the sixth value the row will have a value which is six okay and let's print this row value so we'll say system okay it's out and we can say uh what row number is and we can print row right and if it gives me anything above zero that means we are we are able to insert the value and trust me we are done this is how you can insert the value. Let's run this. So if I run this code, make sure your your current activity is the activity you want to run. Okay, uh, doesn't matter. It, it the emulator it, emulator will not work, right? Because we are not showing anything. And let me just go with row. I already have some data here. Okay, it's still running. So we'll say row number. Is it row number? It's still not coming. Is it loading? Just pause the video for time being. Okay, so app is now loaded, and you can see we got row number is one. That means one row is inserted. Simple, right? Let me change the value and let's run it once again. Let's say this is two, this is Rahul, and let's say the marks is 60. 
And if I run this, uh, you can see a different value. So we will get row number is two because we are inserting this, inserting two rows. Yeah, so you can see we got row number, row number is two, right? So as many times you run this, you will get new, new values. I mean, the new, new row number. Simple. Now, since we have or we have set the values, let's fetch it. So what we'll do is we'll we'll come in this section. This is for setting the values, right? Or inserting the values. Now, what to do to get the values? The first step would be instead of get writable database, we want get readable database, right? So let's copy this text here. And let me just paste it here because we want the object of SQL database, SQLite database. And we'll name this as readable database. Okay. Now, once you got that, we need to specify that how many rows we, how many uh, rows, how many columns we want. And the way, let's say you, you don't want all the columns, you want only two columns, you can, you want only one column. You can do that with the help of a string array. So you can, in the array, you have to specify how many columns you need. For time being, we'll say that column name is projection. Okay. Again, we can take any name. And in this array, you have to specify the column names you want. So I want a column name which is SID. I want a column name which is S name and I want a column name which is marks. So I want all the three columns, right? Now, once we have done that, simply run the cursor now. Now, how to fetch the value? So there's a, there's a method called as db.query. So to fetch the value, the method name is query. To insert the values, we write db.insert. Where is that? Can you see that? The db.insert. But to fetch the value, we have to write db.query. And in this query, you have to specify certain things. Okay, let's see what other things it, it needs. So DB query needs what? It's not even specifying it. DB query. Okay, so you can see it asks you for the table name, which is this one. So we'll, we'll take this query. So it, it is asking for your table name. It is asking for the number of columns you need. It is asking for uh, all other stuff will keep it null. So you can see it is asking for the selection. It is asking for the selection arguments, group by. We don't want anything. So we can put four nulls there, four null values. In fact, five null values. So in the DB query, we can specify the first one as a table name, which is student table. Right. Uh, the second thing we need is what? We need a projection or you can say also column names. The third thing, we don't want anything else. We can keep everything as null. Uh, that's very simple, right? We can keep everything as, oh, that's weird. And then we can have one more null and we can have one more null. So in total, we require to pass seven parameters. Now, once you've done that, we got the data. So this query will return you the, uh, the table data, right? And you can store that table data in cursor. So what exactly cursor is, so if you know the JDBC part in Java, so there we use result set, right? So that you can traverse between the results. You can use cursor here to travel between the results. Okay. And now how to traverse? So let's say I want the first row. That's it. I don't want all the rows. So I can simply say C dot move to first. It will fetch you to the, it will take you to the next row. And let me print the values now. So like how to print the values. We can simply say S out. Again, we can print all these values on the activity itself. You can do that as your assignment. Uh, let me just print the name itself. So I will say name is, I uh, will say C dot. So the, the way you fetch the data is using get string by specifying the column name or number. So we can pass one, it will give me name, right? So it should give me Naveen. Uh, if I'm not wrong, if I run this code, I hope it will work. And it's taking some time. Okay. It's not working out. Oh, we are, we, are, we are doing this stuff, right? We are printing row number. We have to say name is. You can see we got Naveen here. It's that simple, right? Uh, if I change this to move to first, instead of saying move to first, we can specify the actual, since we have uh, two rows, right? We can specify the position. So we can say move to specific position. Uh, is it? Let, let me just go for move to, uh, move to position. We can specify one, which is, uh, I should, I think it should give me the second value, which is Rahul. One is, okay, yeah. So we can see you can, you got Rahul. Again, you can print all the data with the help of while loop. So you can run a while loop here on the uh, cursor itself and it will work for you. Simple, so it is that simple to work with SQLite database. So in, in this video, we have talked about how to insert the values into the database and how to fetch the values from the database. 
So that's it from this video. We'll see you in the next session for the next topic. So for that, for that time, that's it. Do subscribe to the channel and do like the video.